we want to perform the indicated operation of addition. Before we can do so, we need a common denominator. A common denominator will have all common factors. So we need to determine what factors our denominator will need. To do that, we need to factor both of our denominators. In this one, we'll have x minus 3 times x minus 1 as the factors. This one will be x plus 2 times x minus 1. We can see they both have the factor of x minus 1, but this fraction is missing the factor of x plus 2. So we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by x plus 2. This fraction is missing the factor of x minus 3, so we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by x minus 3. And now we can see we have the three common factors in our denominator. So the first fraction multiplying the 2 gives us 2x plus 4 over our common denominator of x plus 2, x minus 3, and x minus 1. Multiplying the second one, we get 6x minus 18 over that same common denominator of x plus 2, x minus 3, times x minus 1. So that we can combine those, so that our denominator is the x plus 2, the x minus 3, and the x minus 1. And our numerator is 2x plus 4 plus 6x minus 18. Simplifying still over our common denominator, x plus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 1. We have 2x plus 6x is 8x. 4 minus 18 is negative 14. We could factor a 2 out of this numerator, but the resulting factor will not be in common with the denominator, so it won't allow us to cancel any like factors, and therefore that is the simplified form for this solution.